Hi, today we're going to be looking at this um, ProBook 4515S from HP. Okay, so the problem is, you switch it on, you hear the fan come on, flashing LED for the hard drive, flashing LED on the caps lock button, but there's no boot, screen remains black. Okay, so you remove your battery. There are seven screws underneath here that you will remove. Okay, at the back here, there's a screw on either corner. It's covered by a little um, plastic cover, so you'll remove those. Okay, we remove this top cover first, slide it back towards the screen, and off. Okay, two screws at the top corners of the keyboard. The screws are different sizes, so if you are not sure, keep them in separate containers. Slide the keyboard up. Remove the clip that holds the ribbon cable in place. Just pull up on the clip. Remove the ribbon cable. Remove the two large headed screws at the bottom here. Slide up. Remove the clip under the clip holding in the ribbon cable for the touchpad. Three screws holding the hard drive, keep that in a safe place. Unplug your antenna cables from your Wi-Fi card. Unplug your cable that goes to your switchboard. Unplug your LVDS cable to your screen. Another cable that comes down here. This was probably for the microphone. T9 talks to driver.
So three screws on either side of the hinge. Okay. <coughs> the hinge is stuck down with some double sided tape. So just use a screwdriver or something just to leverage slowly without snapping any plastic. Okay, so that's your screen. Okay, so now we're going to remo remove the rest of the screws that hold down the top cover. Okay, so you will remove uh, 20 torque screws. Make note uh, there is uh, two short ones. Three more Phillips head screws here on the side. There's a Bluetooth module here that needs to be unclipped as well. Unplug the speakers. Okay, so you should be able to start separating the, the two covers now. Just go slowly just in case you've left a screw in somewhere. Use a guitar pick to go around the edges. Just slowly pull on an opening, get your guitar pick and just go around. Because you've got these two holes here covering the um, headphone and microphone jacks here, it's easier to remove it from the top and then slide it off that way. Make sure nothing gets broken. Okay, remove the board that connects the DVD drive to the motherboard. This is a little bridge board. Two screws and you can unclip your modem board. Two cables to unplug going to your USB. Okay. Pull out your power jack. Screw here on the number five, just holding down the fan. Cable here, which runs to your Ethernet port here. Okay, it should come out now. Okay, so that's your motherboard. Remove the RAM. Go 
do your four screws holding in your heat sink here. Two on the GPU here. Unplug your cable, connects your fan. Okay, so you remove your fan. And as you can see already, this is why this machine is overheated. Stuff like this. This little bit of dirt has destroyed this whole laptop. Okay, so before we put it back together, we're going to be removing this fan, cleaning out this heatsink, and you need to replace the thermal compound. Okay. So, this is the chip in question. This is the GPU, the graphics processor unit. And that is what we're going to be reflowing. Okay, so you're going to start off by wiping any old uh, residue off the chip. Okay, and then wrap the motherboard in two layers of tinfoil and just expose the chip. Okay, I've got some old heat sinks. Um, underneath um, the board, supporting the board as well on top and what we're going to do is we're going to slowly heat up the, the, the board and the heat sinks on the low uh, temperature and we're just going to slowly bring up the, um, the temperature of the motherboard to around uh, 70 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius okay and then uh, once we have the whole area generally um, generally heated up we will then concentrate on the chip on the high um, uh, temperature and um, on the high setting okay I have a black and decker heat gun here it's just got two settings one and two and uh, I'll take some some readings um, to show you what sort of uh, temperatures we're looking at okay so let's get started Okay, so while we're waiting for the motherboard to cool down, let's just service the fan and the cooling system, the, the heat sink here. Okay, so three screws and we'll be able to remove the fan. Okay, you want to remove the old um, thermal compound that's dried up here. Uh, don't use anything that can scratch the copper. Good topic. Perfect. Kitchen towel with a bit of rubbing alcohol.
Okay, the motherboard is cooled down. Let's just clean up the processor here. Put a thermal compound on your CPU and a bit on your GPU. Not too much. Okay, so you want to tighten these screws in order. There are numbers here, so sort of half a screw on each, uh, half a turn on each um, corner to make sure that the heatsink sits flash against the processor. Okay, don't forget to plug in your fan. Okay, so let's just put back the memory and the VGA cable. We'll plug in the power and let's see if we can get this to boot. And there we go. We have video again. So uh, that reflow did the job. Um, we will uh, just monitor the temperatures. Make sure that this um, laptop does not overheat again. Thanks for watching. Remember there's always a fix.